Hey everyone, I'm Allison. I'm Bryce, and, and we're, we're Better, Better Half Reviews. Reviews. And today we are talking about Bog Chal, published by Lemery Games, and it's coming to Kickstarter this month. So Bog Chal is an ancient Nepalese abstract strategy game where you have goats and tigers, and you're trying to, if you're the goats, capture all the tigers so they can't move, and if you're the tigers, you're trying to eat three goats, or sorry, five goats, Oh, so um, just jump over them. To win. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a game, like you said, it's an ancient Nepalese, is that what you say? Yeah. Nepalese game, and it's on the verge of extinction. And so when Lemery Games heard about this, they were like, oh, well, this is a great little game. We don't want it to just go away. So they're doing this Kickstarter to help bring this game back. And one thing that I think is kind of cool, uh, sorry, just a little side note, is that it's a pay what you want for the game. Uh, so I think that's awesome where it's just an awareness campaign of like, hey, let's keep, let's keep this game around and you can pay whatever you want. Um, this is a prototype, so not everything's final. The mat will be a little bit thicker. Um, I think these are pretty similar to what you would get. And a little satin bag. And instructions. Nice no and instructions. short. I like it, because the game is really easy to play. So if you're the GOAT player, you're going to take one of your goat pieces and place it anywhere on the board. So, After the tigers are on the board. Well, tigers start on the four corners. Mm -hmm. So say I'm a goat player, I place it here. That's the end of my turn. And then the tiger player will move. So tigers move along the line, and you can only move one space. Uh, my turn as a goat player, say I'm going to put it here. Tigers have two actions. They can move like Allison just did. Or they can capture a goat. Capture a goat, you jump it like it's a chess piece, and now Allison is 20% of the way there to winning. <laughs> so it's my turn as a goat again. I will place my piece here. That prevents Allison from jumping over the piece. So then I can just move again. So then we'll do that until Bryce has placed out all of his goats. Then it's just each of us gets a turn moving back and forth. Yep, once all the goats have been placed, then they move like lions. They just go the one space on any tigers. line. Tigers. Or sorry, tigers. Bears. Oh my! <laughs> but the goats are trying to get the tigers surrounded, so they can't move anywhere. But you have to trap all of them in the same turn. Yes. So if all the tigers are trapped and they can't move, the goats would win. If the tigers capture five goats, like I already mentioned, then the tigers will win. Yes. So it's the rules are easy, like very, very quick. And you're like, okay, yeah, you set up, let's just get playing. Um, typically, if you play it, you would play like two out of three. So it's like, I'd play the tigers first. Next game, I'd play the goats. Flip flop it. I like this game <laughs> a lot. I like it too. It's kind of chess checkers -y. it's abstract strategy it's really simple but it's really hard to master yes um i've played as tigers i think mostly and <laughs> he wins all the time <laughs> <laughs> well just like thinking okay how can i kind of move around make sure i'm not going to be trapping myself but also spread it in a way where i can attack like a goat for multiple angles because if I only have one angle to attack a goat from mm -hmm. it's just really easy to be like Oop, there we go that can't jump over that anymore but if I have two angles available you know you can't block both ways so it's just really interesting mm -hmm. to kind of think through those different things and when you're playing as the goats it's like okay I need to try to block them but I also need to be mindful of not leaving myself open to getting jumped and so sometimes you're like, maybe I need to sacrifice a goat and be like, you want to get this goat? Because if you jump it, I'll get you. But if you, you jump can it, only... you're jumping into a corner. Yeah, and but you can only sacrifice space. so many because five, right? Five? Five, yeah. Five goats, and if they, they eat five goats and you're done, I mean, jump five goats and you're done. And so I, when I play the goats, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll sacrifice this one. And I'm like, crap. He's already collected three goats, and I'm still placing goats. I don't even have them all out there yet. I'm like, I'm going to lose again. 
so another thing that I like about this game is that it's super portable. Like, very small bag, everything's very light. So it's like, if we're going on a, an airplane, this can easily fit on the little tray table and you can play it with each other. Like, this is a great game to take when you're traveling. Yeah, this is what, like, five or six inches by five or six inches? Yeah. And it's super light. And I love that it feels like it packs enough of a punch because you're like really thinking with your brain. You're like, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to move this? And then you can quickly just, okay, we finished the game. All done. Yep. So we are told to focus on Bog Chaw, but for a little more variety, there is another side to the board. And this is a game very similar to Bog Chaw. You play with a few less pieces. From India. But the game is from India and it's called Puli Mecca. Board's in a different shape. You play with a few less pieces, but otherwise it's pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you get two different options for the price of one. For the price of whatever you want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when first uh, Lemery Games talked to us about like trying out this game, um, and I heard that they're like, oh yeah, it's this game that's going extinct and we want to bring it back. It's like, that's so awesome. So I... Game aside, I love what they're doing to help bring it back and that they're not like charging a crazy amount or whatever. They're like, you pay what you want. I love that they're doing that. Um, and they didn't like ask us to be like, oh yeah, can you please promote this? I just love that they're doing it. And Lemory Games, um, they just seem like solid people who are creating games and like just like trying to just bring out some good stuff. So this I'm excited about. We love abstract strategy games. I love the puzzliness to it. It's just such an easy one to pull out and play. Yeah, I agree. I really like the mission of like getting this game a little bit more known so it doesn't go extinct. And I just I like learning about interesting like little games that you from know, different from places. different cultures, different yeah. places and just seeing seeing how you know these games developed or whatever. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I wonder if, they'll, if there's an ability to get like multiple copies somehow. I don't know how they would do that with the pay what you want. But I feel like this is like a really easy like gift to like, give out yeah. to people. Like this is a great stocking stuffer in my opinion. Not that we're talking about Christmas, but now I am. <laughs> but I mean, it, someone who likes chess or checkers mm -hmm. or something like that. Like, it's a great maybe gift. Not necessarily gamers, but people that like abstract strategy games are definitely like mm -hmm. this. But yeah, so I think this is an awesome game, worth a try, and for a great cause. Back it if you want to. And we'll put the link in the description down below. And we're also going to be having a playthrough of this game where you can see me get slaughtered, no matter what team I play on. I guess we'll be the Tigers. Well, okay. <laughs> the, the goats, maybe they get a little vicious, and I don't know. Either way, I'm most likely going to lose. If I win, that's going to be awesome, but I just don't count on it. So if you want great strategies, watch what Bryce does. <laughs> anyway, I'm Allison. I'm Bryce, and we're Better Half Reviews. Happy gaming. Have fun. Don't get slaughtered. <laughs>